Hello, this is Dennis Piper, and we're here to do a quick tutorial on how to upload photos using your Keep It Simple site version 2.1 control panel. It's pretty easy. I'm already logged into the control panel, and if you have questions about that, see uh, the uh, tutorial on getting familiar with the control panel. Um, I won't double cover things if I don't have to, but we're in the control panel, and what we're going to do is basically go to the link at the top of the page that says Upload Photos. And when I click over to there uh, and come back to the other side of the page, I want to select Upload a Photo. Okay, and one thing I will mention about this process, uh, because of the wonders of Microsoft applications, uh, the only browser you can use to upload or delete photos on with this current software that we have is Windows Explorer. So if you try to do what we're doing now in Firefox or Google or one of the other browsers like that, Safari, it's not going to work. You need to make sure that you're using uh, Windows Internet Explorer. I'm using version 8, but the other should work fine. And that's just uh, a tweak that uh, has been designed into some of the server stuff uh, where Microsoft is not wanting to uh, work very well with some other stuff. So as we continue, uh, we're basically on the file upload page. We're just going to click browse to find the file that we want to find on the computer. Uh, uh, mine opens up to where I have my picture that I want to upload, so I'm going to select that. Uh, I'll click open. It puts the information here, and then I'm going to click upload. And it'll take just a minute. If it's a big file, it'll take a little while, but if your files, if your pictures are sized properly that should load pretty quickly here and we'll see we have some information here that says that it that, uh, was uploaded what size it was uh, this red text right here is a uh, something we have to change in the control panel so that typically won't come up you can ignore that since we already have notification that it uploaded anyway it's uploaded so it says so we're going to close this window that takes us back to our control panel and we want to prove that it's been uploaded to the server so I'm going to click an area of the website delete a photo. Now this area shows all the pictures that you've uploaded to the website. And this particular website we're working, is, has, working with has several pictures already uploaded. But if we look at the bottom of the page down here, we'll see this new photo that we've uploaded. Uh, the cover's small. And I'm going to click on it here to view it. And it'll pop up and we can actually see that picture. Okay. And when you click on that, it opens a new window. So I go over here and close the window. Um, and then I'm going to come back down to the bottom and we see that it's on there and it's a small size, which is good. Uh, the, the number of bytes being less than 100,000 is very good. And, uh, but now I'm going to show you how to delete it. Basically, we're already inside the delete the file page, and we're just going to click delete. It's going to ask, are we sure? We say yes. It's going to go through it, and uh, basically you have it has been deleted. Now we scroll back down here. We still see it on the bottom of the list here, uh, but what we need to do, just the way Microsoft's SPX pages work, we just need to click refresh list, and it fetches the information again from the server and we see that it's gone. Uh, so that's pretty much it. We're done with this page, this window, so I'm going to close it and then we come back to the control panel and that is a quick overview of how to upload your photos to your website uh, using the uh, KISS uh, control panel. Uh, we'll have another tutorial that tells you, uh, shows you how to uh, get these pictures to actually show up with your content. Basically we uh, will cover that with the next tutorial. So I hope you've enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next tutorial about associating your photos to the content of your website.